If you want to transfer your eSIMs from your old iPhone to your iPhone 15 Pro or Max, then in this video I'll show you the easiest way to do that. And also I'll show you how you can transfer the eSIM if it says the SIM on your old iPhone does not support eSIM transfer. First, you need to make sure that both your iPhones are unlocked and connected to Bluetooth and your old iPhone is running on iOS 16 or later. So to start transferring the eSIM, we need to open the settings on our iPhone 15 Pro Max. From there, go to Cellular and select Setup Cellular. From the pop-up, select Transfer from nearby iPhone. And as soon as you tap on it, you'll see a pop-up on your old iPhone. We'll press continue on that. Now enter the verification code from your new iPhone. After entering the code, you'll see continue on your other iPhone. And on your new iPhone, you'll see activate eSIM. From here, we'll press on continue. It will take a while to activate and you'll see that our cellular setup is complete. So we can press done and start using our eSIM right away. But if you're having this pop-up that says your SIM is not supported while trying to transfer the eSIM, then it means your SIM card provider doesn't support it. In that case, you need to scan the QR code or put in the activation code of your eSIM. And before that, you need to remove the eSIM from your old iPhone. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll press cancel on that, then open settings on our old iPhone, tap on mobile data, tap on your eSIM and scroll down, select delete eSIM. Confirm it and the eSIM will be deleted from your old iPhone. Then we will scan the QR code on our new iPhone. You can do it by going to settings, cellular, scroll down and tap on add eSIM. And then from here use QR code. Now scan the QR code and your eSIM will be added to your iPhone 15 Pro. So that's how you can transfer your eSIM from your old iPhone to your iPhone 15 Pro Max. Hope this video was helpful. Make sure to stay tuned for more future videos.